introducing Dr. and Jackery Damages. Yeah. Welcome to the show. My name is Dr. Damages. We are coming to you from the greatest city in the world, New York. New York City. If you're watching this show, it means that the world did not end yesterday. Yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> For those of you who have packed and ready for rapture, you can now unpack. Oh, no. uh, what about my leather? It, it also means that you have to go out there and do your Christmas shopping. <laughs> <laughs> so far, 50% of people have got their shopping done. Wow. The other 50% otherwise known as men <laughs> are waiting for the last minute. That's right. Well, guess what? The last minutes are here. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I'm going to help you. I have some gift ideas for you. For your dad, I would recommend something very simple, like a tie. Mm -hmm. It's always okay. It does, it does well for that. Yeah. For your mom, I would recommend sweater. Deliver it with a kiss. Mm -hmm. that's, that's enough, yeah. For your wife, nothing will ever do. <laughs> <laughs> but try wow. diamond. Try diamonds. Despite what Dr. Phil says, um, mm -hmm. it's still a girl's best friend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For your girlfriends, you will nail it with Victoria's Secret. <laughs> Try, try the 90s, the panties and the candy, you know. <laughs> and then for your girlfriend's girlfriends, those ones, yeah. You cannot go wrong with breast implants. <laughs> that, that way they can get up to being the, you know, you know what I mean. <laughs> so, New York is, during the holidays, New York is the place to be. And people look forward, look up to New York. For example, Nigeria has now got their own national Christmas tree. Oh, yeah. So yeah. just like we have one at the Rockefeller Center, Nigeria, they have one in Abuja. <laughs> While our Roka is the one that lights up the New York City tree, mm -hmm. in Abuja, they have Patience Jonathan. <laughs> 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 now, um, our Roka and Patience Jonathan are two different people. Mm -hmm. One could not stop eating, so doctors ordered a tummy tucking surgery mm -hmm. to shrink the stomach. Mm -hmm. The other one is our Roka. <laughs> The only difference between our Roka event in New York and Patience Jonathan's event is that Patience spoke in her newly acquired language, ja German language. Oh. Watch. And Nigerians are gathered and pray for In U.S. political news, 2016 presidential candidate Hillary Clinton fainted this week. Mm. Hey, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's sad. Some people said that it happened when she saw the questions that Congress were preparing to ask her at the Benghazi uh, hearing. Wait, you want me to tell you what my husband thinks? My husband is not the Secretary of State, I am. So you ask my opinion, I will tell you my opinion. I'm not going to be channeling my husband. That's right. Oh yeah, so, so she couldn't take it, she fainted. Now, um, that also is a proof that she's running for president, yeah. definitely. Which means that her life is now open book. Anybody can produce anything from her life. Mm. Now, our crack reporters went out there and they got the clip of Hillary fainting. Mm. Watch. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, talking about politicians, South African President Jacob Zuma has won re-election for a second time as leader of the ANC. Something that Nelson Mandela did not accomplish. Mm. Serious. But some people in South Africa are not happy. Mm. They are complaining, where is God? <laughs> well, when Zuma killed 12 cows for his ancestors, what did they think he was doing? He was appeasing the gods. Mm. One group is, however, very happy about Zuma's win. They are called women. Mm. He has vowed to add five new wives to his collection. <laughs> <laughs> So, Time Magazine this week named President Barack Obama as their man of the year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for surviving attacks from the right and moving America forward in spite of the odds. Mm -hmm. Very good. Its counterpart in Nigeria, Ikebe Super Magazine, has named former President Olusegun Obasanjo as the man of the year. For constantly launching attacks on President Goodluck Jonathan. And increasing the odds that Jonathan will never have any clue what to do about Nigeria. <laughs> a queer Bible called Queen Elizabeth Version has just been published. Mm -hmm. It is different from the King James Version of the Bible. In Queen Elizabeth Version, God is a woman. Hmm. She too 
curated the world in six days. Mm. And on the seventh day, she rested. Mm. While she was resting, she saw a reflection on a river and screamed. <laughs> she thought another woman was wearing the same dress as she was. <laughs> Echoes of that scream have continued to cause earthquakes around the world. I bet you don't know this. I bet you don't know this. That's why you have to watch this show. You get information. <laughs> Nigerian politicians are in panic due to deaths of high-profile VIPs in the country. They want to know if they are next. I, I, I don't blame them. Some of them went to Pastor T.B. Joshua <laughs> to see if he would tell them. <laughs> but the man of God did not give them specifics. Eh? He just predicted that the sun will rise tomorrow. <laughs> That a car will have an accident along Legacy by the expressway. And that somebody's girlfriend will get pregnant this weekend. <laughs> when the politicians left, TB Joshua laughed his head off. Watch. <laughs> so my people, my troubled politicians, I have answers for you. If you want to know if you are next, Check with Ruben Abati. Mm -hmm. If your name is on Ruben's list of draft press statements expressing President Jonathan's condolences, then you are next. Mm -hmm. Like you. Hey. You. Hey. You. Hey. You. Hey. you. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> <To> fear. <laughs> this fear of dying forced President Jonathan to seek help too. Mm. He went to Redeemed Church's Holy Ghost Congress. Dear Pastor Adeboye prayed for the president. Mm. Watch. Whatever he might have done wrong, you please forgive him in Jesus' name. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Whatever he might have done wrong, you please forgive him in Jesus' name. <laughs> what a great prayer. <laughs> Whatever happened to go home and sin no more? Mm -hmm. Oh well, <laughs> he wouldn't mean that, you know. That would mean that the president will not come back again. If he asks him to go home and sin no more, he won't come back again. And if he doesn't come back again, he won't, he won't have to pay his tax. What is 10% uh, of 1 billion naira food what? allowance money? Uh, no, 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 no. Money? Anyway, <laughs> I wasn't moved until I had Adeboyo say this prayer. Watch. All those who wish him well, let it be well with them. <laughs> All those who wish him well, let it be well with them. Fear catch me. From 2013, I am not going to make fun of the president anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm going to wish him well. Mm -hmm. No more fun making. Nothing like this anymore. Mr. President. Mr. President. Mr. President. Excuse me. Mr. President, were you scared by the news that Babangida Atiku, Abu Salami, Jeremiah, and other Northern heavyweights were holding secret meetings to discuss how the North should react to your presidency? Heavyweight? <laughs> Those men are like more like dead weights. <laughs> Do you know how much my wife weighs? <laughs> when she climbs the scale, the machine says, one person at a time, please. <laughs> Look here, my friends. The only meeting I'm afraid of is the meeting my wife patience has every morning when she's in front of the dresser. <laughs> if she doesn't like what she sees in the mirror, that means my day don't finish. <laughs> no more this. National anthem, please. My people love me. My people love me. My people love me. <laughs> stop it. No, 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 no. Stop that. Stop that. No more that. No more this. <laughs> According to Linda Ikeji, you know her. Linda, she checks and rechecks her stories before she publishes them. <laughs> Pastor Tunde Bakare's son slapped NYAC commandant at Ondo camp. What? Mm -hmm, that's what Linda says. It vindicates what I've been saying. Mm. If you allow pastors to be free to slap witches, foul devil! Mm. Their sons will take it one step up and they will start slapping bitches. Wow. <laughs> Watch. You are in the house of the Almighty. Stop lying. No, my name is Good Luck. Good Luck. I'm a witch for the IMF. The IMF does not send witches to Africa. Then, I'm a witch for the World Bank. The World Bank didn't tell me they were sending you. 
but they sent Ngozi Okonjo Iwala. Foolish man, are you a witch or a bitch? Bitch, bitch. I'm a bitch for the IMF. <laughs> I'm a bitch for the world, but please help me. Please kill me. Happy birthday to General Mohamedou Buhari. <laughs> he turned 70 this week. If you're looking for a gift for the general, you cannot go wrong with 70 shades of grey. No. <laughs> it will serve as a metaphor for Buhari on how many ways Nigeria can screw up an honest man. <laughs> now here are some news making headlines in Nigeria this week. Nigeria's oil well to dry up in 2053, says experts. 2053. I say, no problem. We can switch to our milk world. Mm. We get them plenty. Mm. Watch. <laughs> 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 Senator Ndume contacted Boko Haram leaders 73 times in one month. What? Says SSS. 73 times. And I'm like, and so what? The man was just checking his credit default swaps. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Sins by Nigerians have distorted God's plan for the country, says Pastor Adeboye. Mm. Mm -hmm. He should know. He what? blesses most of them, the sinners, the armed robbers, the criminals, the, the contractors, all of them. Yeah, ten percenters. Ten percenters in return for import mm. tariff waivers. Wow. It's time for your email. Yeah. I love letter. Wadada, wadada, love letter. Wadada, wadada. Our first email is from Abdul. Abdul wrote in from Zaria. He mm. said, Dr. Damages, what preparations have you made in case the world ends on December 21st? <laughs> Abdul, why did he say in case? The world is ending December 21st. I don't know where you are from, but listen, I have written my will and half of my property, I'm giving it to all those people abusing me on YouTube. That's half of them is going to them. The other half is going to Bishop David Oyedepo for all the tithes I failed to pay in the last one year. Now, this is not time to play. I want to make it to heaven. So I'm, I'm giving half of everything I have for Oyedepo. Then the other thing I did last night was to throw a party, the end of the world party. Watch. This world I ain't never seen. Are you a foreigner, nigga? I need to help me get me me. I don't even let me get it. Cause I'm paper me. Free, cause I don't check nothing for paper, bitch. Chase me. Screw my friend. This is good. I'm so fucked. Our next email is from um, Fumi in London. Fumi wrote, I love your show and I watch it every week. I want to play Patience Jonathan on your show, but I live in London. Will you fly me into New York every week for shootings? <laughs> Fumi. You failed the Patience Jonathan test. Patience Jonathan may be a permanent secretary, but that does not mean she works every day. She doesn't even work once a week. Eh? And you want to me to fly you to New York every week. For what? You are playing Patience Jonathan. You have to learn to channel the inner patience if you want this job. So when you get ready, when you learn how to be patient, write back. <laughs> <laughs> So that's it. That's the time we have for emails. Now, this is our last show for the year. Until next year, thank you for watching. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. My name is Dr. Damages. I diagnose. You Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you.